what's going on YouTube family Austin here we're back with another video so a couple cool things happening uh, right now we're on the way to do a small uh, garage two-story garage metal roof um, thought it might be cool to get a video on that seems as though you know metal roofs galvanized roof uh, you know probably something you guys are gonna come across in your pressure washing journey and uh, I thought it might be cool to do a little video on that uh, it seems as though I don't really have a metal roof cleaning video on my channel that I know of um, so maybe point out some good pointers for you guys on that in other news uh, I've recently a couple days ago went on the you know YouTube posts and I posted a post that I was gonna be at the power wash store I believe it was yesterday or the day before uh, the new one in San Antonio I want to schedule a time where we can go to the power wash store in San Antonio because I'm gonna need to get some stuff and I'm thinking that day is gonna be Friday uh, Friday probably around you know when they open 10 or 11 o'clock I'd say ah, I forgot when they open um, shit it might be earlier than that but we'll come up with the time anyway I'm gonna be at the power wash store right around 10 o'clock uh, Friday morning this Friday morning uh, in San Antonio so if you guys are wanting to come down to the power wash store take a look at all their awesome super awesome equipment by the way I've gotten most of everything I own um, that's in the back of my truck at the power wash store from the power wash store so um, it'd be nice to go in there and meet those guys take a look at some brand new equipment and uh, see what kind of stuff I can add to my truck and my new truck setup that I'm picking up next month so that'll be cool and then you know meet some of you guys and if you guys are you know new in the business and you're kind of wondering you know what you need to get started let's go to the power wash store I can point out some things to you guys we can talk to some of their representatives and that'll be fun um, Thursday tomorrow we're doing a big roof at a restaurant a Jim's restaurant I don't know if you guys are not out of, out of Texas you don't you're not sure what Jim's is Jim's is a local you know traditional southern style breakfast restaurant that are they, they got a couple chains all over Texas and stuff um, but I actually kind of went in there knowing that the roof was terrible and it's been needing to be cleaned for years I went in there talked to the general manager said hey you know I run a next year cleaning company I've been coming eating here for years and I always notice the roof and I have a feeling you have noticed the roof as well who do I need to talk to to talk about cleaning this roof for you guys and she immediately plugged me into the regional manager uh, who plugged me into the director and uh, who allowed me to give him a quote and then you know two mornings ago I uh, ended up getting the green light on that quote just by going in and talking to someone um, not really expecting too much but I was expecting to talking to the, to the decision maker um, that's all I wanted to know I wanted the decision makers number so I can at least at a bare minimum plug them into my CRM and um, that way I have his information but you know we ended up getting the roof cleaning so that was a thousand dollar roof cleaning that we're gonna do tomorrow night and I'd love to make a video for you guys but it's gonna be after hours at midnight so we're not gonna be able to do too much filming in the middle of the night so um, you know I'll definitely get you guys some pictures and whatnot and uh, show you guys how that job happened uh, yesterday we went and bid a pretty huge parking garage and we have done so we submitted a bid for 11 apartment complexes little small little apartment buildings so we're waiting on getting that back and you know I just secured a huge job for Tuesday big house wash big window wash go ahead and get that in there So yeah, lots of jobs in the works and it's October, things are getting a little cold and uh, we're still out here working guys, but let's go ahead and get to the job and let's have some fun. All right guys, we are at the project. Just gonna go over a little game plan with you guys. I got two rules when it comes to metal roof cleaning. Number one is always pre-wet surfaces before you get started. You see these, this roof right here? It's a galvanized metal roof, straight metal. And this roof over here is that good stuff. That's the kind of roofs that are really good, easy to clean. These roofs right here, they get super oxidized and they just are old. I don't know if you can tell up there, but some really bad discoloration. And it just makes for a not easy job. Or I should say it's an easy job, but I should say the results aren't never up to the satisfaction and expectations of what the customer is wanting. You know, 
Most of these customers expect a brand new looking roof, but never works out like that. <clears throat> I always tell them, look, we're here to clean the organics and and black mold and algae off the roof. That's what ever, that's what the whole industry does. Um, you know, if a roof like this might need to be up there personally and get scrubbed by hand, and that's just not something anyone's gonna do. You can risk falling off and you know slipping off the roof. And uh, I just told them we're gonna get all the as much dirt and as much organic growth as we can off. And that's just what we're gonna do. Um, and so I'll always pre-wet metal roofs, apply it my solution, and then rinse it off. It's very different from shingle roofs. Um, I, you almost kind of treat it like a house wash, except it's a roof. You just use a little bit hotter of a mix than uh, house washing. And I will never use um, five or six percent roof batch on a metal roof. You know, like like I would on a shingle roof. You just don't need that strong of a mix. You know, it's a different kind of material. It's metal. Um, you know, usually a good house wash mix will work. Um, but in this case, I'm gonna try and go, I'm gonna bump it up to a 2% because I'm fixing to show you how bad this roof is. And uh, if I'm looking at my chemical tank, <clears throat> this is a 30 gallon tank. I'm only gonna make about a 20 gallon batch. And I got five gallons of SH shock in there. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and five gallons of shock, I'm gonna fill the rest up to the 20 gallon line full of water. That'll give us somewhere around a two and a half percent. Might go 22 gallons of water. That way we're right at the 2% mix. And I'll go ahead and put my, uh, I got some good old apple wash. And I got my eliminator. That's gonna be our surfactant today. And it should be an easy one. We're just gonna wait for these realtors to clear out and we'll get down there. going on lots of dirt all right guys we are filling up the 20 gallons of water and I'm dealing with a client that likes to watch me work so hopefully this turns out to be a good video and an informative video for you guys how much eliminator I use you know, a little simple roof batch mix. That should do just fine. All right, guys. So right now, I am rinsing everything. I want it nice and coated before I put any kind of solution on there. And we got this nice little wooden deck out here. I'm gonna make sure that's nice and wet. I really need a guy to film me because I hate filming with my hand and washing with the other hand. And obviously my J-Rod on a five, four, four gallon a minute system is getting way up there. It's shooting a far shot. Get yourself a belt driven system with a nice big general pump on it. Nice, I'm gonna coat all this siding as well. Get it nice and coated with, obviously, and then I'm also gonna try and remove any of this dirt I can with the J-Rod. All right, looks about 90% there. I'll go ahead and go ahead and do one more batch. All right, guys, what's going on? I had to do a little voiceover here. Um, couldn't really get the first application on video because uh, the homeowner was coming out watching me and we were chit-chatting along. But as you see here, I'm just kind of on my 10-foot uh, stepladder and I'm just doing the second application. Um, and as you see, the roof is already really, really, turned out really, really well after the first application. Um, and now I'm just kind of doing a second application to make sure I get all the rest of any kind of organics that are still on there and um, like i said i'm using a two percent mix on here with a, a nice little chunk of eliminator in there and a little bit of apple wash just for fun and i'm just kind of you know starting at the top and just working my way down to the bottom uh, making sure it's nice and uh coated here uh, you'll see me kind of move the ladder and uh i'm actually walking up these stairs here because i'm over here on the right, I'm, I'm looking to see what kind of damage, if any, I did to the wooden deck because um, some overspray had gotten over there. Now, I already, I had already 
pre-rinse that whole area just to make sure um, but i was just kind of going over there and seeing if any of that wood had been bleached out and uh, it turned out to be all fine so that's all good there um another thing with metal roof cleaning that you need to take in consideration that you, you guys need to do is um, after you do the application you know you'll see me here in a second get on the root or get on the ladder with a J rod and heavily rinse down those little rivets because sometimes that you know the dirt algae and pollen stains need to get agitated with a J rod you know put on the um, you can put on your big orifice on the J rod and just go through each little rivet and heavily rinse it down that'll disturb the dirt and really make it so where the roof is you know at its cleanest um, so I'm just finishing here this second application you know you got that big bush standing right there in the middle i had already pre-rinsed those two bushes um so i'm not really worried about that and a two percent mix isn't really going to do too much to a big strong bush like that and uh you'll see that that that's pretty much it that's the second application right there all right guys um as you saw i just went ahead and did my second batch or my second apl application first application the homeowner was watching so couldn't really film and at the same time and talk to him but some of my application actually got on the home here and this is kind of typical when you're doing roof cleanings you know if you don't have someone here rinsing with you most likely going to get some solution on some wood siding so there was just a you know bleached out wood right there or you know clean areas of wood and then the rest of the wood was dirty so I went ahead and just took two seconds and applied the whole building and came out perfect so and uh, like i said i always pre-rinse i'm using about a two and a half percent solution maybe three percent solution on this and i'm letting it sit for you know five ten minutes then i'm coming through and i'm rinsing you never want to let uh bleach dry on metal roofs um for obvious reasons you know you can bleach out the metal so Obviously, you guys saw the before pictures, and we're having a dramatic result right now. Looks a lot better. All right, guys. That is how you clean a roof. Pre-rinse. Lay down a 2%. Let it sit for 5-10 minutes. Use the J-Rod and go ahead and uh, rinse all that down. Do a second application if needed. Thoroughly rinse. And that's what the result you get. So we're packing it up and leaving. It's about a $450 ticket in about 30 minutes. So good stuff. Get into roof cleaning. Change your life. What's going on, guys? Back at the house here. Um, so we got done with that roof cleaning. And tomorrow we're actually cleaning the gym's roof, the restaurant gym's. I actually just went there and ate right after that roof cleaning. Um, went over there, ate some eggs and some pancakes. Um, so right now I'm just gearing up for that and I'm going to go pick up some chemical tomorrow. So that means I got to completely empty this tank and that tank. It's nice and uh, purple because of this nice apple wash. Guys, I love using apple wash. It's such a great surfactant. It makes everything smell great. Um, it's not the thickest stuff out there. Um, that's why I like using Eliminator to help you know the stickiness and whatnot but i love apple wash gives it a nice color um but i think i figure usually what i do if i have a lot of chemical i want to get rid of i usually just go ahead and post treat my dad's driveway and keep the mold off and stuff but what i think i might do is you know wash this side of the house and kind of have some fun with it and uh you know always keep keep uh keep good care of your family's stuff you know if you got a service business doing lawn care landscaping power washing AC, whatever you name it, take care of your family stuff. It's a good way to kind of go through your equipment, make sure everything's running right, and uh, take care of the people that raised you and make sure they don't got to pay for any of this stuff. I've done pretty much all I can do to my dad's place, um, but we're going to go ahead and do some, some uh, preventative maintenance. And uh, some of you guys have asked me how downstreaming works. Might talk about that, but let's go ahead and get set up here and uh, show you guys what washing a house looks like. All right, guys, I got my water plugged in. I got my Gen 2 hose going around the front side because we're going to wash the front side in this 
side side right here and I got my high pressure line starting over here. I'm gonna rinse everything and then go back with the Gen 2 soft wash everything and then we'll go back and rinse it all down. That's all soft washing is guys. All you're doing is rinsing, applying chemical, rinsing it off after five, 10 minutes and you are left with a very good result. There's even some black mold issues right in those soffits I'm already looking. So that'll be nice to take care of that for my dad. Um, I already got water plugged in. So all I need to do is turn the water going to my pressure washer on. I already got my dipstick on my Gen 2 in my batch mix tank there where that purple tank is. That's the Apple wash. All I gotta do is take these terminals, plug them in, red goes to positive, black goes to negative, boom. As you can see, it's gonna start to pull the purple. Give it a second. Okay, in that case, it's having an issue priming. Here's what I like to do on that. Go ahead and take this, boom. There it goes. And now it's pulling purple. Yes, I know I just shot some soap out of here, but it's nothing. It's all good. And uh, let's go ahead and fire up the pressure washer and we'll go ahead and rinse. All right, guys, so I'm starting to like these little voiceovers. It allows me uh, to think about, you know, how I can best kind of talk through these videos and uh, teach you guys some stuff without having to come up with stuff on the fly while I'm washing and there's a bunch of noise in the background, etc. So, yeah, standard house washing, you know, just like the roof. I always like to go ahead and uh, rinse everything. Everything that I plan on, you know, hitting with chemical, it's going to get hit with water first. Some guys don't pre-rinse. Uh, they just go ahead and, you know, apply chemical. That's fine if they want to do it that way. I just go ahead and, you know, pre-rinse everything. It just covers my basis. You know, sometimes, uh, you don't, you don't know what, what these wood sidings, you know, what kind of paint they're made out of. Sometimes, you know, bleach can bleach out the paint and, you know, ruin the paint. So it's always good to just kind of pre-rinse it, uh, and, you know, kind of prepare the surface for your solutions and your soaps and whatnot. And then you're also, obviously you're rinsing the plants and stuff. You'll see me there hit the window sills. That's just to kind of get up all that dirt daubers or anything that could possibly be going on over there. All right, so now I am applying solution. You see me right behind my car over there on the right. I had already pre-rinsed this side before I rinsed the front side, so it's all wet and stuff. Starting at the top down, I like to go ahead and hit the, all the gutter lines uh, first. And I just kind of work my way down. So you see I hit the wood siding, and now I'm kind of working my way down to that brick. Um, you know, now, now I'm going underneath the soffits, finishing up that gutter line. I'll always hit the windows as well. A lot of people say, you know, be careful on putting solution on the windows. That's very true. You don't want to leave solution on the windows because you could shriek the windows. That bleach is not good to sit on those windows for very long. Um, however, I have found that if you use the solution on the windows and get in those little crevices of the seals and, the, uh, and whatnot, um, it, it actually really, really cleans up those wood, those wood seals in there. Um, and all those whites around the windows. Uh, so I do find it helps a lot. You just really gotta make sure you rinse those windows directly after. Um, and now you see me kind of going down, hitting the garage. Um, so nothing, nothing too complicated here, guys. Like I said, we're just rinsing, then we're applying solution, letting it sit for five, 10 minutes, and then washing it down. It's kind of a bad example right here because the home is already clean. I'm just kind of doing preventative maintenance. Uh, but nothing too special here, guys. Uh, pretty simple. Now I'm rinsing. Look at my dad. Watch this, guys. Yeah. <laughs> oh, that's funny. <laughs> Gotta have some fun in life, right? Those of you that live in homes that have driveways, this is something I like doing. If I need to 
get rid of some chemical before getting a fresh batch. I like to go ahead and post treat driveways, my dad's driveway. That way it keeps it clean. I don't gotta worry about coming through and surface cleaning it anytime soon. Getting all that surfactant out of there too. Probably three or 4% mix I'm getting rid of here. It's weeks old. Getting the fresh stuff tomorrow. I just came up with a fantastic idea to keep reoccurring business every month or two. So whenever you do a driveway cleaning, sell them on a reoccurring monthly or every other month post treating. That keeps the driveway clean. It keeps money, cash flow coming into your pocket every month and everyone's happy. You know, if you do these post treatments every month, That'll stop the growth of organic mold and algae, keep the driveway looking clean and your customers will be happy. And you know, if, if I did this driveway for 300, 300 bucks, 400 bucks, selling them on a nice little $75, $100 post treatment, get yourself 50 of those clients to do every month. Shit, 50 times 100 is 5,000. I'm gonna start incorporating that and see what we can do. It's a great idea. Alright guys, we just got done with that. I like to go ahead and when I whenever I get a chance every other week or so I like to go ahead and flush out all my tanks, flush out everything. Um, so that's what I did after I just soft washed uh, you know the dad's house my, my dad's house. Just go ahead and um, clean out the tanks. Didn't really film that. Um, but it's something good to do. Always clean out your stuff. And tomorrow morning we're heading out to the Luling chemical plant, which is about an hour away from me. We're gonna go pick up some bleach. I get my bleach for about $1.85 a gallon, so good stuff there. And then we're going to clean the roof uh, at Jim's restaurant tomorrow night. That'll be fun. But outside of that, guys, I'm going to go ahead and go home. I got a couple apartments I need to go ahead and locate for some clients of mine. And then tonight, we're heading out to the Del Valley motocross track. So maybe what I'll do is I'll uh, throw in some cool clips for you guys but uh, other than that guys we're chilling nothing much going on uh friday around 10 o'clock as i said before we're gonna go out to the power wash store in san antonio so if you're in the san antonio area if you want to uh, look at some power washer power washing equipment reach out i'll be there at 10 o'clock in the morning and uh, other than that guys we're all set for the day pretty successful day